wait what does it mean to you personally personally um now it's about love it's just love in general not like an intimate love are you in love with someone yes unfortunately <laughs> So you were interviewing people? Yes. And now I'm interviewing you? Yes. Am I doing the right things? Am I, am I right? Like, am I, maybe I am. Let's, let's hope I am. <laughs> <laughs> let's get, it will get there. So now, how do you balance? You're a student. Yes. You're an artist. Yes. You're someone's girlfriend. You're a sister. <laughs> You're a daughter. Yes. So now, how do you balance your personal and professional life. It's time for another upbeat show, Biz. This is a show where I interview upcoming artists to recognize and appreciate them as they continue to give back to society with their wonderful talent. You guys know that I always have a male artist on my show, but today I have a very special guest that is female. So we do hope that you guys get a different perspective on how um, female artists um, struggle and uh, maybe we'll get to know um, who she is <laughs> and you guys will enjoy the interview. So joining me today is none, is none other than um, Percy D. How are you Percy D? I'm good, and you? I am good, thank you. You look so nervous. Are you ready for the interview? I am nervous, but I'm ready. Are yeah. you sure you're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So let's get straight to it. Um, can you please tell us about yourself? Give us background details about yourself and um, where you're from. Um, my name is Kutwano, and uh, I'm from Pumalanga, uh, Um, I am turning one years old at the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah, I grew like in a very like quiet place like you can imagine how like you want to be an artist and it's too quiet how are you gonna like promote yourself and stuff like that mm -hmm. it was hard for me but my family just like they were not hard to like you know, to support me and take me through the journey and they just told me that i need to have like a backup nyana. that's why i'm studying and i'm doing my final year this year wait so when did you like have this thing for music when did you realize that you want to become a music artist when i was 15 years old in 2017 i entered a talent show called mpumalanga talent show uh -huh. and i was the second winner for public speaking mm -hmm. funny enough i'm a very shy person <laughs> but i was the second winner and from there dr fm took me in as their radio presenter mm -hmm. and um yeah from there i just started my music journey uh, with the radio, like, in base or, in, what do I call this? Start somewhere. Yeah, I, start up. I, yeah, I had to learn a lot from the people that I had to interview on my shows. Then I fell in love with it. So you were interviewing people? Yes. And now I'm interviewing you? Yes. Am I doing the right things? Am I, am I right? Like, am I... Maybe I am. Let's let's hope I am. <laughs> <laughs> let's get it will get there. So okay, what inspired you to create and publish your first song and when did you publish it? Uh what inspired me was the people. They were like, You're good at this or you have potential in this. Why mm -hmm. are you not doing it? Like writing your own songs. That's yeah. when I started writing my own songs in twenty twenty. And then uh, I published my first song this year actually. I started publishing this year officially. Uh, around March, I don't remember the date, but I released my first song, Mangwan. Wait, 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 wait. So when did you start writing songs? Songs, and then when did you start going to the Gigs. studio to um, record and stuff? I was doing like covers when I was fifteen, like performed other people's songs. Oh. And then I started yes, writing yes. my own songs later, and I think grade twelve, but I didn't record the songs. When did you start recording? This um, year? No. Oh. In high school, but I didn't publish them. Why, so, why didn't you publish them? I was, I, I felt like I was not ready. I was a shy kid, so I was like, ish, being on stage, I had stage fright. I couldn't do a lot on like around people. I was not a people's person. I'm an mm -hmm. introvert, very reserved. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> 
So right now you mentioned your song Mangwa Nini. So what message did you want to convey through your song and what does it mean to you? Because it meant something to me when I listened to it. So can you please tell us about the song? Uh, maybe we may have like different experiences while listening to that song. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was like, it's about like spreading love at the same time. Because I mentioned Kupale Rata Neng, Lesuami Like, you have part. to spread love and like, ignore the noises around you. Like, just focus on you and be positive and do what you do and focus on that. And it's a bit about fun, going partying somewhere, somewhere in the be in the middle. Yeah, it's just a fun song. Are you sure? Wait, what does it mean to you personally? Personally? Um, now it's about love. It's just love in general, not like an intimate love. Are you in love with someone? Yes, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's not get to that. I'm, I'm here for the music. If I start talking about personal things, I don't think I'll finish. <laughs> so, um, what has been your biggest challenge that you faced since um, you started producing music and releasing it to the public? I think my biggest challenge was like writing a song that you really like and then putting it out there. It's not getting the same love that you like imagined or maybe no, not even expectations way too much to a point by you're just disappointed when you get like 50 views or something but we'll get there so how do you handle um the the expectations and the i don't know if i should say disappointment of not reaching the goal that you had set for yourself uh that means you have to, uh for me it means that i have to do something different if it was the way that i put it out did I promote it? What did I do before putting it out? If I didn't, then I have to promote it. I have to go to radio stations. I have to do like a couple of things before releasing because mm -hmm. nobody will listen if they don't know the, that the song is out there. They don't know, so they have to be away. So what are you currently doing about it? Like, how are you planning on um, increasing your fan base, getting them to know that you're releasing a song soon? How are you marketing yourself currently? Currently, uh, as, a, as a final year student, it's hard to have like time for my music, but I have interviews and performances for now. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the rollout, I'm not um, yet there because the rollout comes with a lot of things. You need a team at least to help you market the entire thing, like going to TV interviews. I yes. think that will boost you and introduce you to new audiences mm -hmm. that don't know you. Yeah. yeah. I think right. that's my step, my next step. So that's what you're currently going to work on? Yes. So now you mentioned that um, you're currently performing. Where are you performing and how do you um, deal with the stage fright? And since you say that you're a shy person, yeah. how do you deal with that? Uh, I usually wear shades when I perform the first song just to see how they receive me. Mm -hmm. After that, when I say, okay, they're hyped, I take off my shades. <laughs> yeah, that's how I kind of like deal with the stage fright. Mm -hmm. But I perform at 442, Black Labone, Butagi, Square 2.0 at the moment. I'm a regular day. Oh, and yes. Sunday, Sunday culture and the was this orange utopia we are having the last show uh on the 25th of november yes at 442 oh yes i wanted to ask right. so what happens if um they don't give you the attention or the um energy that you want do you still keep your glasses on no there's you're in the crowd, there'll always be that one person, that one person that really vibes. You have to look at that person for the entire performance. That's how I deal with it. I have to take them off eventually, but I'll I'll look, go crowd on. That one person that that's is vibing, yeah, that's giving you the I have energy. to look at that person for the entire performance. Also, you don't get discouraged because some people no. are like, Yeah, you know what, people are not giving me the attention. Let me just stop, let me just go backstage. No, uh, do another thing is that not everyone will like your music. You do only like we have Nicki Minaj, we have Nasty Z, we have Black Diamond. They doing diff totally different things. And when you come with your own, mm -hmm. so you you can't expect everybody to love what you do. 
So this one is is a nice one. You mentioned you're doing graphic design. Yes. So as a graphic design student and an upcoming female music artist, can you please describe um, how art is important to society? Oh, if it was according to me, I'll 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 like force everybody to do art because it teaches patience, mm -hmm. discipline. Mm -hmm. Like you pay attention to like tiny details, you won't jump into conclusion. You really have to pay attention. So I think art is very important. I like that, those three qualities, like a lot of people lack them. So That's why. Why is art important to society? To society, I think to teach them those qualities. A lot of us don't have those, and for I think for someone to be successful, they need to have. One of these three or all three of them discipline consistency and um, perseverance mm -hmm. um yeah and art when you are like you love it and when you do it uh it's most likely to acquire those qualities that you need to be successful in everything so these are the three qualities that you live by every day every day are you sure yes <laughs> so with the three qualities that you have do you have a network of other artists and how do they support you, yourself, your music, your mental health? And how, and do you guys even plan on collaborating soon or have you ever collaborated with other artists? Yes, I have. I'm not so much on like collaboration because I'm still finding my sound, mm -hmm. but I have uh, collaborated with Blue K. She's also an upcoming but big mm -hmm. artist from Cape Town. Mm -hmm. I really love her. Yeah, so that's one of the artists and some other I cannot mention because we haven't released yet, mm -hmm. but they're still coming through. And uh, there are two record labels that um, are looking forward to work with me, but I'm still a student, so. So they're waiting for you to graduate? Yes, so I'm, yeah, I'm still considering that as well. So which one are you going? Uh, which one are you going to choose? The one with a better deal, and the one that uh, comes with security. Um, I don't want one like. Eh, there are a lot of stories about record labels. Yeah. So I, I feel like the one that gives me security and the one with a better deal, uh, I can accept. So what if they try to scam you? Like I don't. I don't want to use that word scam that's been used by a lot of social media platforms and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then what happens if they exploit you? It's a better deal, but then they're exploiting you. What would happen if they're using your royalties, they're using your money for different things and you getting penance? Uh, uh, when you go for deals, uh, it, it's advisable to go with a, a lawyer, someone who knows about like um, contracts and the, the potholes here and the, I don't know mm -hmm. what they call them, clauses. Yeah. yeah, I don't know much about it, but if I have someone who knows about it, and yeah, I, I think you, you guys will figure out uh, how to avoid being exploited. Because at some point, it has to be stated there, Hori, for this amount of work that you're doing, this is how much you will get or how much you are contributing to that label or whatever. And the, the uh, percentages that the label will get and yours, so it has to be stated in there to avoid anything or any inconveniences. At least you know about it. I actually thought you were going to give me a different answer, but this oh. shows that you know your stuff, you know what you're getting yourself into. Yes. So now, you, you earlier you mentioned that um, you're still trying to find your sound, yeah. but the sound that you already have and already published, mm -hmm. um, if you were asked to describe it to someone else, how would you describe it to them? Uh, huh. Yeah, it's it's a mixture of different sounds, uh, but mine has to have like a powerful kick, uh, bass line because I can't dance. I want to make people dance, so my songs has to have the two of those. I don't know what to call the sound. Uh, I sing and rap, so maybe a little bit on um, the trap soul. Interesting. Yeah, a little bit of trap soul. Yeah, I can see that. It's just that. I did an Afro song too. That's I'm like I'm still finding and my sound. Yes. So you you are a mixture of those things. 
Yes, that's why my EP is collage. Collage is like different stuff put together. You ready, hey? Yeah. You are ready. <laughs> so now, how do you balance your students? Yes. You're an artist. Yes. You're someone's girlfriend. You're a sister. <laughs> You're a daughter. Yes. So now, how do you balance your personal and professional life? Uh, I have to prioritize my school first. Anything that comes, assignments, that's the first thing that I consider. Mm -hmm. Secondly, my music, because that's my part-time job, Niana. I get um, yeah, something from it. I was about uh, to ask the price, but you can go on. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> they have to talk to my manager for that. To find out about the price. Mm -hmm. It was like the dating part, they'll they'll fall in between. Mm. Between the music and my school. Mm. I'm sorry, yeah. They so that's how you balance it. Yeah. So the dating one is just in between school and Yeah, work. somewhere there yeah, nah, you know. They so, understand though, like yeah. Well, I was about to ask, what no. if they feel neglected? What if they feel like you're enjoying your music too much and you don't give them attention? No, first of all, you guys talk. I'm like, I'm doing this and that. Mm -hmm. And if you can't handle, I'm not for you. You can. Yeah, I mean, I'm an artist. If they don't know, at some point you're going to be in a public space. Yeah. And I need someone who's disciplined, someone who's, who knows how to carry themselves. So you, uh, you are very you are a very busy person. Uh, yeah, kind of. So now, how do you manage your mental health conditions such as depression, anxiety, or maybe bipolar? Because you're always busy. There's this, there's that, there's that. So how do you manage, manage everything? Yes. Um, I currently have uh, PTSD. Yeah, but I manage that. I go to therapy every now and then just to balance things out, um, to avoid affecting the people around because it used to, but not so much anymore. So do you have something to say to people who are watching uh, about PTSD and how you manage to go about it and um, what you learned from your therapist? Um... um According to my experience, it makes you like reserved, like you don't want to be around people and the smallest things that remind you of your trauma can trigger you to react in a very um, negative way to some people mm -hmm. because they don't know what you're going through. Uh, I think they should like consider going for therapy and if it leads to them taking those pills, they have to. They give you pills to numb your feelings and stuff like that. They help. Yeah. I know it's a lot of money mm -hmm. to go to therapy sessions, but they do help. A lot. A lot. So before we get to personal, guys, um, that was uh, Pessy D for you. And I really do hope that you guys enjoy the show. And um, do you have something to say to, to the people that are watching back home about your songs and what you are I'm currently working on what should they expect from you? Um, Pesidi is a graphic designer, radio presenter, an artist, a multi uh, multimedia designer. So mm -hmm. you can expect anything from the, uh, the things that I just mentioned. But in terms of my music, I just released my first EP and uh, you guys can check it out. And I also released uh, the other single called Apart on the 1st of November. You guys can also check that out. I swear you won't regret it. Give them your social media handles and uh, platforms, but we will do put them down there. But for them to already know what um, to search. Uh, it's Pessy D. I don't have Twitter. Don't check me out on Twitter. Mm -hmm. It's Pessy D on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Pessy D. That is Pessy D for you guys. Guys, I really do hope that you enjoy the interview. This is Upbeat Showbiz, a ride share on Let's Talk with Pity. Stay tuned for more. Maybe another episode will drop. Thank you. Oh, 
Hey, fella le ratande, the sabi se satande. Hey, upa le ratande, the sabi se satande. Upa le ratande, the sabi se satande. Upa le ratande.